Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to fix a black screen on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. So my tablet is working perfectly fine. You can see I can go to lock screen, no issues. For you, I'm assuming yours isn't working fine. So follow these instructions and by the end, everything should be working. So the first thing we're gonna try doing is we're going to attempt to spam the power button. So I'm assuming uh, you've tried clicking the power button once, we just spam click it. And if you give it a couple of attempts, there may be a chance that you'll be brought to the camera app you saw right here and if you're brought to the camera app you can tap home and then hopefully you should see the lock screen if that doesn't work you can also just try double tapping on the screen see if that uh, shows any display of course my uh, tablet is perfectly fine so i'm not having any issues but just give uh you know tap the screen a lot see if that's going to fix the issue if it does cool if it doesn't then let's move over to the next fix so the reason why there will be a black screen and you can't fix it with the taps or the power button presses is because your tablet is currently frozen. So in order to unfreeze the tablet, we're going to do a force restart. So how do we do a force restart? Well, let's take a look at the top of the tablet here. And you can see we have the power button and we have the volume rockers. So in order to initiate a force restart, we're going to hold down the power button. So click and hold, not click and release. So click and release is like this. Click and hold is like that. So click and hold power and while holding the power you're also going to click and hold volume down so if you do a click and release that's going to take a screenshot if you click and hold that is going to force restart the samsung tablet so let's do that together so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay it down and so i'm going to click and hold power and volume down so let's do it together three two one make sure you add enough pressure so the both buttons are pressed now imagine uh, you know, for the sake of it, you won't see uh, any image showing up. So you just want to keep on holding, keep on holding. And hopefully after 20 seconds or so, you should see the Samsung logo. So we'll just give it a bit more. Give it a bit more. You can see the Samsung logo right here. So once you're in this stage, what you can do is you see I'm not pressing any buttons anymore. So you can release the buttons, right? And so... Just give it a little bit for the uh, the tablet to start up here you can see the samsung and you can see my uh, tablet has force restart and no issues just give it a good 20 seconds pressing and holding both buttons press down hard don't you know press lightly otherwise it won't work right if you just do a press and release you can see it's going to take a oh well in that case it did nothing but sometimes it should take a screenshot i'm assuming it's blocked from the lock screen it usually takes a screenshot uh, so you just want to press and hold press with force and then that should solve the black screen issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the black screen issue, that means that there is an issue with the display itself. The earlier fixes covered how to fix any software issues which may be glitching out the screen. However, if you have the black screen issue and those fixes uh, didn't work, that means that it's an issue with the display itself. So if this tablet is under a year old, of course you have warranty, so you can always contact Samsung and get a replacement uh, display or they'll replace the whole tablet now if it's past a year which of course at the time of recording it isn't but let's say for the sake of the video it is if you're in the uk or the eu you have six years warranty right how cool is that so it's not easy to activate it's called consumer law and so how it works is after six years from the delivery date of the tablet you are entitled to warranty right as long as the tablet isn't damaged so there's no dents there's no you know like you know bruises bruises i know like cracks on the screen i don't know i said bruises that was a bit weird but you, you, you know what i'm trying to say here if that is the case then as long as you bought the tablet from samsung directly you can contact samsung say my tablet is faulty and say i want to use consumer law to get a replacement and they have to oblige it is the law they'll make it very hard they'll want a proof of purchase as long as you provide those details, you'll be good to go. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I'll have links, by the way, for that in the description if you need to file a claim. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.